We had some missed opportunities. Uh, you know, we, we have to be able to capitalize on those opportunities. We're talking about one inch and three inches. And, uh, you know, that was a key point to the ball game. Uh, we should have had 21 points. 21 points they can't have back, but could have used in their 31-13 loss to the Buffs of Colorado yesterday. Warriors in the red zone. Three times in the first half, walked away with only 10. Then were outscored and outplayed 31-3 in the second half. But excuses aren't something you'll hear from these guys. We just got outplayed in the second half, you know, the, just like the first half. We played, you know, I thought we played uh, as well as we have uh, other than getting those two touchdowns. I, that was very disappointing. We were able to move the ball nicely, you know, put together some drives, throw the ball here and there. But in the end, they would just, um, they, would, they would hold us. Um, you know, we'd have long drives, but we couldn't um, finish the drives, and that's, that's what cost us. Now the Warriors hope to knock the kinks out of what's been a potent offense. Saturday they host Charleston Southern at Aloha Stadium at 5.30. And eight, ninth play of the drive. Gilbert. Screen, ball is tipped and it is intercepted. Guess who? Scott Smith. St. Louis grad Scott Smith had the game of his life last night. He went berserk. Former Crusader had an interception, two sacks, forced a fumble, and caused another interception off a deflection, which was returned for a touchdown. Red Raiders dropped to sixth-ranked Texas 24-14, though. It was an Old Western shootout, but even in defeat, the former All-State defensive end is holding his head high. They were tough. I mean, getting the sack is all about just having a motor. You just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. But I really think it was great coverage because we were only really rushing three guys. So it was really coverage sacks. I got to give it up to the secondary on that one. Well, I thought we had a great week of preparation. We were pretty fired up before the game. The coach told us we were going to get five turnovers before the game. We all were pretty hyped. And like I said, the week of preparation was great, and that, that played a, a big part in that. Red Raiders now 2-1, and one, winless in Big 12 play, take their show on the road to Iowa State next weekend. Mafua goes to Danielson, little touch. Great diving, rolling dig by Rodgers, but a double hit is called. And that is uh, Danielson's 1,000th career kill. Reigning WAC Player of the Year, Kanani Danielson, hit a milestone yesterday, recording her 1,000th career kill in last night's three-set sweep over BYU. Junior outside hitter collected 11 on the night as the Rainbow Wahine improved to 10-1, and one, winning 25-23, 25-13, and 25-16. Next, they open up conference play with Utah State on Thursday. The Big League Brothers, Kurt Suzuki, one for five, including this bloop RBI single in his A's 6-2 victory over the Twins. Maui Boy's 63rd ribby of the year. He's hitting 242. Kila Ka'ai big night for the Royals, one for three, driving in two RBIs in his team's 6-4 win over the Twins. His average now 197. And Shane Victorino, 0 for four with the strikeout, leaving three men on base. Fighting fields, they win, though, 7-6 over the Nationals.